It's that Z, too low, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 it's that Z Hi everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's gonna be my account played by Senpai and Gold versus Savage and Dr. Tran K. Now before we start this battle, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my channel, and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. The map of choice will be the Forgotten Post. Now let's see what's gonna happen here, let's dive straight into the battle. Okay, here goes, the battle is now loading up. Let's see how Senpai and Gold does here. Okay. Now let's see. Alright, so. Senpai will be the yellow player. Okay, and Gold will be the red player. Okay. At the very start of the battle, Gold opted out for producing Avia. Okay. And then, my account will be playing Land. Okay. Now yet again, this is Senpai playing my account. So kudos to him. He did a very great job. Now, collecting those containers, of course, it's always a must. Okay, come on, collect that, man. Collect as many containers as possible. Okay, very nice. Collecting containers over there. Okay, collected most of the containers, and wow, one le one container here was left. Okay, oh, nice. <laughs> collected that container over there. Okay, one container over here as well. Now, heading level 3 HQ. Okay, destroyed one barracks, okay, constructed more supply center and a power plant to unlock HQ4. Now scouted this bl uh, green player's base. Now, let's see what's gonna happen. One assault has made its way to my base as a scout. Okay, gonna have to level 3 HQ from Senpai. Okay, also uh, re built some supply centers as gold. Okay. Hidden infantry is over here from this green player. Onto this green player's base. One coyote will now be scouting the blue player's base. And saw that there's like... Wow. Vertex. Okay, that's very fast. Okay. Now let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay. One vertex is now scouted via base. Uh, uh Senpai's base. Okay. This, uh, or gold doesn't have any defenses at the moment okay now vertex from the green and the blue player are now going to be annoying in terms of destroying some anti-air what this this coyote was able to scout this uh green player's base saw that there's like a zeus and a special vehicle factory over here okay and technically this will be a rush zeus torrent typhoon rush from the green player okay building more anti-air of course Okay, now those Vertex again are going to have to try and be annoying, killing this anti-air that is being built, and killing this anti-air that was already built, since there's only one. Okay, now two players of uh, Vertex are now going to go on ahead and uh, kill that alone or sole anti-air that was built. Now this anti-air is now finished uh, building itself up. One anti-air got destroyed, actually two, one being built. And now they're going to have to gang over this anti-air over here. Okay. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Senpai is actually producing units at the moment. Chameleon now in on the way. Two, two Jaguars on Q. Okay. And again, they're not stopping in terms of harassing Gold's base and killing the anti-air that is being built. Okay. Alright. So yeah, they're still trying to be annoying. Now, all 7 anti-air has been placed from gold. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of investment into anti-air being killed by those vertex. That in itself is a very, very annoying thing. Okay, power plant now built. Again, another anti-air over here. A scout to, my, or to Senpai's base. Again, the vertex are trying to be annoying. But most of the anti-air already finished. So yeah, good luck with those harass. Okay, now let's see over here, as you can see, the alert over here saying that there's like a ton of green player attack going to attack Gold's base, hence the gun tower, and Senpai used Gold Scouting to get over to this place and assist with the defense. Okay, now let's see what's gonna happen over here. Four anti-air on my base, that's actually uh, quite good. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, so uh, Gold instructed Senpai to fall back. Okay, hence he will fall back. Okay, now those torrents are actually pretty microed nicely in terms of firing. Okay, but nah, <laughs> it's actually within the range of the gun tower. Alright, so yeah. Oh man, they need to somehow kill these gun towers. Alright, and again, Vertex Scout over here, gonna kill some units on Senpai's base. Okay, one Vertex got picked off. Okay, one Jaguar managed to somehow get away, very nice. Okay, and again, the uh, harass doesn't stop there. And again, one Zeus over here. Oh, come on, man, activate the chameleon. Nice. Okay. Before it gets uh, picked off by a vertex. Okay, now let's see here. I believe that uh, once those, uh, once the blue player actually saw this, the green player will now have to retreat in micro, as it can be seen over here, since uh, this attack will fail drastically. Okay. Now, since this green player you know, hoped for a rush, then he will need time to recover his base. Alright, 2 AVF Factory has now been built from gold. Okay, and my base, or Senpai's base. Still, non-stop unit production on his end. Now, this unit over here is actually in a good position to attack the green player. Okay, one scout was saw, or actually was seen over by that hidden rifleman. Okay, additional uh, power plant and rocket tower. Okay. Alright, now let's see what's going to happen here. Senpai will be attacking the green player's base. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Okay. Barracks going to be killed. Wow, that's a lot of barracks, actually. Now, those uh, barracks are actually good in terms of preventing the attack since if, if Senpai get close to those barracks, then... Most of the units will fire the revealed unit. Very clever, I'd say. Okay, now we'll be picking up this uh, rocket tower that is exposed. Torrents are now going to be force firing at this location. Okay. So still doing damage to, to uh, green player's uh, base. Gold boost scouting to see further ahead and see where those torrents are firing from. Okay. Very nice, but one porcupine is killed. The other is pretty bruised up. Almost dead. Okay, he's now gonna have to retreat. And again, Chameleon over here has now been activated since the Vertex might just attack. Okay, there goes those Vertex. Gonna have to somehow try and attack this uh, location over here that is gonna be revealed. Okay. And so, uh, here goes. So, anti-air over here. Okay, one second. All right. Now, as can be seen over here, okay, to resume, sorry about the commotion earlier. Okay, so yeah, there it goes, two AVF factory, three airfields, and as can be seen over here, there's like four hawks now. Okay, my army actually retreated to Gold's base, and walls are now going to be placed over here with this construction yard. Okay, now let's see here, anti-air still going to be built on my base. Okay, to provide additional cover and additional vehicle factory for more Jaguar production. Faster Jaguar production at a time. And uh, let's see here. Thors are now going to be uh, in production, I believe so. Okay, there must be like a scout. Come on, man. Okay, now, ooh, I, I believe that's a Vertex trying to somehow uh, make its way over here. And now, anti-air going to be placed over here and here as well. Okay, now the rest of the army are over here at this place. Now, let's see here. This uh, vehicle factory is now level 3, I believe. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, already level 3. Okay, but I uh, really need more power. Now, those uh, hawks are now going to go on ahead and scout and see what the blue player or green player has. Okay, still additional special vehicle factory from the green player. Provide more hawks, killing or provide typhoons, and uh, those hawks managed to trash that assault infantry over there. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. There's like a uh, a unit above the cliff over here. So yeah, the army is actually divided into two by senpai. The detachment that was sent to attack a savage base is now rendezvous over to this position and got some reinforcements to pack up along with it. 
Very nice. Okay, now let's see what's gonna happen here. One rifleman is now, I think, is gonna go on ahead and scout this uh, place over here. Okay, or this place above. Now let's see, one cyclone is actually uh, scouted over here. Now those vertex are gonna have to pick it off. Now this hawks, are, or one hawk actually make its way to scout the, the blue player's base. Okay. And wow, going straight to Spaceville. Okay. All right, so construction yard over here, construction yard over here, saying that there will be walls. Okay, here, here, and here. And then since this is above the cliff, it's actually easier to defend and much harder to attack. All right, there's like Torrents or, yeah, Torrents and Zeus above the cliff in the middle of the base. Now let's see how uh, Gold is doing while well, level 5 HQ. Okay, now this is another airfield. Okay, and so I'm get, um, Gold is ordered to, uh, Senpai to somehow attack on two locations. As can be seen over here, there's like two detachment of, yeah, two groups of attacking, attacking units or armada. Okay, now let's see here. Walls are still going to be built from the green player to provide a good defensive position. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, anti-air boost has been used just in case there might be any vertex shenanigan that might go on ahead and try and attack the uh, forces like the exposed units. There will be less damage due to the fact that there's air raid boost. Okay, here goes the attack. Hawks are now going to go on ahead and try and kill this space system. Okay, well apparently 12 Hawks was not able to even kill that uh, space system in one hit. Now those uh, Hawks are now going to go ahead and kill those torrents that has been placed over there. Okay, very nice usage over here. And then second detachment over here will be attacking this location. Second detachment or first detachment here as well. So it's going to have to sandwich the blue player. Now penetrated the defense over here, killed that construction yard above the cliff to prevent any more wall from being built. Okay, again killed the uh, construction yard around there, so there will be no walls. Okay, now let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, Zeus are force firing above the cliff, and uh, this detachment over here is left untouched. Okay, walls being built here as well to prevent the advance of this attacking uh, units above the cliff. Okay, but he's actually being hammered quite hardly. Alright, so this detachment over here was left untouched, but because there is no Thors. Alright, so Torrance here. Okay, gonna have to attack. Green player has now gonna go on, is now gonna go on ahead and help out with the attack. Alright, now let's see what's gonna happen here. Still spamming walls. Most of the Torrance has been killed, only two remains, and the rest will be Zeus. Okay, come on man. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, was able to kill that chameleon. Okay, negative has been issued since uh, the uh, defense penetration, you know, the attack actually was good. But the chameleon has been killed, so there will be no cover for this. So if those vertex manage to somehow decide to attack this army, it will be dead since there's only four porcupines along with them. Well, come on, pick up that uh, headquarters. Okay, now one hawk here will scout the green player's base. Now those vertex are now going to be a pain. Now the HQ has been picked up by Senpai. Very nice pick off over there. Now army will be reconstructed or reproduced. Going level 5 HQ for this green player. Walls, okay. <laughs> so yeah, walls over there. Okay. Nice. Nice defense though. Okay, but a lot of damage has been dealt. Oh, come on, at least destroy that barracks. Oh, no, never mind. So, yeah. Okay. Now, this rifleman over here is still there, but because that cyclone has not yet detected it, it's also this rifleman over here. Okay. Going level 5 HQ on my end. Additional uh, power plant. Additional special vehicle factory for faster porcupine production for anti-air. Okay. So, yeah. So what, let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, now gold has, let's see, 8, 12, 13, oh no, let's see, uh, 10, 14 hawks. 
Now, the 13th, or actually the 15th and the 16th Hawk are now in production. Okay, next detachment is almost out. Just waiting for this chameleon to pop out. Oh, actually, never mind that. There's like two chameleons here. So, first detachment has now assembled. We'll now head over to attack this blue player yet again. So, Senpai and Gold are actually discussing that there is actually this green player transitioning to space system or super weapon. Nuclear now going to be built from gold. Okay, one cyclone over here. Uh, was not able to reveal that rifleman there. Okay, apparently that cyclone is not ha is not maxed. Okay, now let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. Alright, so those uh, vert uh, hawks are now going to go ahead and be a pain over here. Okay, four anti-air is, is not going to cut it versus this many hawks. No, that's like 16 hawks, man. Okay, grouped into two. Now, those vertex are going to be helping out. But, of course, he's going to have to destroy those uh, torrents and anti-air. And some of the units that are guarding the blue player. Now, Senpai will make its way to the blue player's base in terms of destroying it entirely. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, now, destroyed some avia the avia factory from this blue uh, green player. Preventing more Vertex from being produced. And then Space System gets killed. Apparently that's not a maxed out Space System. Okay. Now Senpai is again knocking at the door of this blue player's base. Spamming walls onto that entrance. Okay. Now that's actually a very, very good scenario. Gold killed the Avia Factory. Preventing more Vertex from being produced. So there's nothing... To detest this nuclear from being uh, annoying and killing this base or his base or the green player's base. Okay, now let's see here. Again, spamming walls onto this uh, section, but it ain't gonna help. The construction yard's now been picked up, so no more wall, wall spamming from the blue player. Okay, again, there's like construction yard also here, so never mind. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, nice. Okay, again, second detachment is now assembling. Okay, non-stop unit production from Senpai. Nice multitasking. Okay, nuclear are now on the way. There's nothing to contest this nuclear since there's no vertex available. And four vertex are not gonna cut it. HQ is now being picked off from the blue player once more. And then this blue player doesn't have anything to defend itself with. No Thors from the green player. No Thors from, from the blue player as well. So technically, this army is uncontested. This will pretty much zone out any attack or coming defenses from the blue player. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's see what's gonna happen here. Now the attack is actually commencing very one-sidedly. Okay, now, as can be seen over here, I think that this is also a nuclear. Okay, now let's see here. Okay, now nuclear has now been launched over to the green player's base. <laughs> wow, okay, that's apparently a lot of damage due to not uh, maxed out buildings. Now HQ is now going to be picked off, and at this time, or at this moment, I believe that it's already GG. Both players already left the battle, hence the the winner will be Gold and Senpai. Alright, so again guys, if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my channel, and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. And also, don't forget to check out my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that may help you win a battle. And of course, check out Kong Toen's channel as he does have a good content on his channel with epic battles. Uh, guaranteed. Alright, so, victory. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye now!